looking for the sports channel. Alrighty, welcome back to Weenie Trades. We had a transformative day here at Weenie Trades. We almost had a thousand subs overnight on the Weenie Trades live channel. So welcome to the channel. If you're new, I'm sure you'll find value at every single corner. So it was a crazy day in the market today. The SPY, the proxy for the S&P 500, the overall market had a nice good gap up, a rip up, and then a massive sell off. So we had tons of trade opportunities to the long side, to the short side, meaning stocks going up and stocks going down, making money on the way up, making money on the way down. It was a crazy day today. Not every day is this good. At one point we were up $2,500, but we finished the day about $1,000 to $1,500. But as I always say, the PL does not matter as much as the entries and exits. Those are much more important. We had so many trades today. The day trading was on fire and the swing trading was also on fire. So really welcome if you're new. I think you're going to learn a lot of great stuff today in today's video. So today we're going to go over our day trading recap, our swing trading recap, and the mental trades that we took on GameStop. Uh, we're going to talk about BlackBerry, BNGO, and we're going to talk about the starter swing trade position that we took. Our first day trade of the day was on FSLY, and I love day trading in the morning. I posted pre-market FSLY over 105, and I posted in the Sunday night's game plan video that 105 was gonna be a key breakout level for FSLY. Well, we got that trigger first thing right in the morning. I go ahead and go long one contract of FSLY, just over 105. You can do this with option contracts, calls, shares, debit spreads, put credit spreads, you name it. There's tons of ways to go long in this market. Boom, we get this nice good push up, a small little pullback, but this is a bull flag. If we have a move up, a little resting consolidation candle, you can draw it sideways, you can draw it flat, however you wanna do it. Then I went and I had an added to FSLY. And whenever I add, I added to FSLY, boom, my stop loss is just beneath 104.50. So I'm using about a dollar, dollar 50 wide stop loss. And boom, we just get this nice good push up. If I ever get a nice good push up like this, I always take the premium. The implied volatility is very high. Boom, I lock in some profits right there. It was about a $40 trade right there. We're still holding our second contract. I like to wiggle in and wiggle out. So after I took profits, I saw this little pullback. That's fine. That's just a little one minute pullback. It, I don't know how deep the pullback's gonna be, but I saw some uh, you know, the sellers coming in on the level two. That's why I took some profits right there. Then after we got that uh, tail, that little candle right there, I move ahead to my stop loss just underneath 106.40. Boom, now it's a free trade. Now I'm either gonna make just $40 or I'm gonna make a lot more. And then boom, we get this nice good push up. I'm trailing up my stop just underneath candle by candle because I don't know how far it's gonna go up. I'm just gonna trail up my stop and if a red tick candle comes in, it's gonna take me out. And this red candle right here, tagged me out. So FSLY, nice good trade to start the day of plus. $210 right to start off the day. We did a swing trade some shares because we were talking about our starter position. I went ahead and reloaded, but there's an extra little $40 and not to mention a little bit more uh, spreads coming along the way. Those are pretty much dead, but we were able to make them free earlier. So that was a really good first trade of the day, trailing up our stop on FSLY. Our next day trade of the day was Beyond Meat. And Beyond Meat, if you watch the Sunday night game plan video, we said we had this nice good bull flag on the daily chart. We had this nice good move up. So each candle represents a whole day's worth of price action. Boom, we get this nice good uh, bull flag right here. It's, it's a little bit counter trend as we were saying, but that's still a nice solid bull flag. We went ahead on Friday, had a little bit of a starter long. So we, we were a little bit ahead of the game over 140. Boom, we get this nice good breakout. We talked about how over 145, that would be the breakout spot. Intraday, I went ahead and went long beyond over 145.50 right here. And I'm just trailing up my stop bar by bar since these are extremely volatile candles. So I'm long over 146, 145. My stop is just beneath 144.26, just selling at any stop of momentum. Well, we got this nice good push up and boom, I just take my profits as we get a nice good on move. I said I'd take my profits right in front of 150, right about 149.75. That was for a uh, good side on the day trading side of things, $314. Of course, I could have held quite a bit longer, but this is when the chat started to really blow up and ever, all you guys from Wall Street Bets just started to come in and flood me. So I was uh, focused definitely on GameStop at that point in time, and I don't have really too many regrets. But yeah, of course, I could have made quite a bit more on Beyond, but so be it. You know, we still swing traded some shares and stuff like that, but that's not as important. We were focused on the community. We were focused on GameStop 
and I was just, uh, you know, very happy to see all the new people and meeting all the new people. So that was Beyond Meat today. Our next trade of the day was a quick uh, dip buy on NEO, and NEO is getting oversold along with the market, and this may be tough to see, but I did say I'm going to dip buy and step in right at about 61.60. That's why I went out long on NEO. Boom, we get this nice good pull down. And then at, my stop was just beneath 61. So if I'm dip buying, it's a little bit more dangerous. So if I'm going to dip buy, I'm going to scalp. I'm not going to look for a huge breakout on something like that. And I go ahead and add to Neo over 61.86. Boom, I get take my profits right at about 62. And then as we start to slam down, I pretty much took a, like a basically break even on the second half. So Neo, nice good $35 bill. That's not as big as the other trades. GameStop had another crazy day. On Friday, we had that short squeeze right here all the way up from, you know, 44 all the way up to, you know, 75. Massive percent move. I mean, that was about 70%. And we talked about this. We talked about it came from the daily chart bull flag. There's your igniting green bar. Here's your sideways consolidation. This is just a textbook setup on the daily chart. And daily chart setups are more explosive than the one minute time frame setups. So uh, there is your buy point on uh, the GameStop over 46.22 with the stop loss, a wide stop loss of $34. But that's exactly what you have to do. It's a very volatile name. And GameStop, I wanted to commentate today. So GameStop had a lot of great technical setups. Uh, people are asking, does Wall Street bets uh, kind of change the technicals of stocks as they're trading? A little bit, but they still, for the most part, actually traded pretty cleanly. So right here, I'm connecting my highs and I'm connecting my lows. We have this nice, good bull wedge pattern. So we're kind of pinching. Sellers are selling the highs. Buyers are buying the lows. Sellers are selling the highs. Buyers are buying the lows. And boom, right here on increasing volume. That means that the participation is starting to increase. You can take a starter long position, meaning you hope it goes up as you buy it over 95.16 with the stop loss just beneath 84.63. That's a very wide stop loss. Me personally, I would have had a stop loss of 91.25, still a four point stop loss. And GameStop just did the deal. Boy, you had another buy set up. See, wait for the red candle. Now draw your horizontal line and boom, over 104.66, right about there. That's a spot that you can add to GameStop. And then at, if you're adding to your position, you're increasing your risk. So if you're increasing your risk, you can tighten your risk by lowering your stop loss. Your stop loss can be the pivot of that red candle. So add right there, move up your stop loss. Boom, we get this nice good tail candle and a sideways consolidation right here. There's your sideways consolidation. It's kind of a triangle pattern, higher lows into the flat top resistance. And boom, you had another buyable candle right about here, 117.89. And guess what? Your stop loss gets to be raised if you add to that. My stop loss, I was saying uh, at Weenie Trades Live, 112.63, just beneath that tail candle pivot. Otherwise, you could have used uh, something a little bit looser, 106.36. That doesn't matter as much. Then boom, we get this nice good uh, another setup right here, higher lows, flat top resistance. You have another buyable candle just over this little tail candle right here, 126.89. And what do you do? You can raise up your stop loss. Now you're building your position and your risk is still tight. And so if the candles flush down, they'll tag you out for a big profit. And boom, nice good move up. And yet again, we had a nice good flat top resistance at 140. This was the pre-market high. So that was uh, expected to be a little bit of resistance. And oh, well, there we go. Oh, uh, there we go. Okay. So there we go. Yet another setup where you can buy. Over that breakout, notice the volume starting to increase and you can raise up your stop just to about 136. Now you have a quadruple size position and it's all protected as long as you have a stop loss in the system. Boom, you get this nice good uh, push up. No buyable candles here. You had a buyable setup over 160. However, we are talking at Weenie Trades Live that this is getting parabolic. It's starting to go straight up. And when stocks go straight up, they can go straight down. And your stop loss still would have been right at about maybe 136, maybe 140. I was saying once we started to go parabolic, I would trail my stop up candle by candle because we're getting capitulation. That usually means every buyer has bought and every short seller has been stopped out. And boom, right there, I said at about 148, 150-ish. That's where I would have tagged out my position. I didn't actually physically take the GameStop trade because I was trading FSLY and Beyond, Neo, all these other great stocks. And, you know, the GameStop, boom, flushed. And then we just had uh, Matt Monsters drop all day. Lots of technical setups on GameStop. Really fun to watch. Very um, great uh, learning experience. Then we had the bear flag. We had the flag pull down. Then we have the counter trend consolidation. That's your kind of flag right there. There's a triangle. 
Boom, I was even saying you can have a short setup right there underneath 93 with a stop above 103. Maybe you have a stop above 108 if you want a wider stop. And GameStop just flushed and continued the flag pull down and boom, found some buyers. We said we were saying at about 61 as it was halted down here. We're expecting a rally all the way back up to the previous breakdown area, which was this low of the day. See how this is a base? We found support. We moved up. So now if we're coming to that from the bottom side, it's going to be some resistance. And that's exactly what happened. Hit our heads right there and then fell down. And then uh, GameStop just started to put in higher lows. So great learning lessons on GameStop mostly today. Let me know in the comments below if you learned some new technical analysis from GameStop. So that recaps the day trading side of things. In terms of the swing trades, BlackBerry was a really good winner for us today. BlackBerry, we talked about how we removed the risk. And on BlackBerry, we basically were able to get over $300 profit from less than $50 risk. So be sure to check out the other video if you want to see how I legged into those ghetto spreads and made the risk free. But we had the bull flag, we had the pop. That's a closing candle at the highs. Boom, nice good gap up. Massive good day for BlackBerry. And boy, BlackBerry was a crazy one today. It was a little bit tougher to chart out and I eventually had to stop out of BlackBerry underneath 1849. We, uh, I had this support right here. I stopped out later in the day. For profit, stopping out for profit underneath 1744. Boom, look how we noticed that we held that support at the end of the day. And I said, if we close the day above 18, we should get a gap up. We close the day above 18. I go ahead and buy some shares. We're up on those shares, but that doesn't matter as much. So that was BlackBerry. Really good uh, trade on BlackBerry. That was super fun. BNGO was a similar type thing. BNGO, we only had $200 of risk in this. If you remember from, if you were here from Friday's live stream, BNGO had a similar setup to BlackBerry. You know, we have our, you know, we have our highs. We um, pull up, we come back, test it as support. That's textbook. And then boom, we get the breakout. Nice, good gap up. We only used 20 shares, $200. And boom, we were able to capture $52 because we just trailed up our stops. That's what we do. I don't, I don't, I let the market decide when I tag out. Not, um, I always know how much I'm going to lose when I enter a trade, but I don't always know how much I'm going to make on a trade. So black uh, BNGO, nice, good uh, break over this little initial morning high. Move up. Here's your flag pull. This is a little mini bull flag on the one minute time frame. Pop. Here's another move up. Bull flag. Pop. Remember, I, I should have been watching this, but I was busy, you know, talking with a lot of people. Boom, there's your breakout setup. There's your breakout setup. And as we get super parabolic, I'm just trailing up my stop, trailing up my stop, trailing up my stop. And boom, right here about 12.879. That's where I tagged out of my BNGO shares. So that kind of recaps the swing trading. We did enter a PLTR long trade to work for uh, on the swing trade. We were saying I started buying some shares pre-market and then we get this massive push up. And as the market took a huge dip, we came right into the support. I said, I'd love to get a dip buy at about 30. Well, I, I bought some shares at 33, bought some shares at 35. That's okay. We wiggle into our position. Boom, we were able to get some shares at 30. We are sw still swing trading PLTR, looking for a nice good move up. Again, I reiterate, long-term price target of PLTR, about $240 a share. That could come in many years. It could happen by the end of the year. This market is pretty crazy. So that was PLTR, looking for more upside. We'll see, we'll manage our risk or maybe take a break even stop if uh, we need to. So that was PLTR. And lastly, uh, Nokia, NOK. I guess this is the new Wall Street bets uh, trade. And boy, there she goes po um, pushing up after hours. I was saying we're range bound until we're not. We had, these are our highs, 485. These are our lows, 463. If we break out over the highs, that's why I want to get long. That's exactly what we did on Nokia. Sure, I would have wished I would have sized up a little bit more, but you don't always know. I was hoping I could get a dip for more shares. Looks like the position may have to be built out. This is weenie trades. I can't really take $30,000 position sizes, but I'm always thinking about my downside and I'll let the upside come naturally. So new trading videos uh, coming on how to trade, um, an intro video. I'm getting lots of recommendations, lots of new people coming and saying hi. Thank you for all your support. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm able to do have more YouTube professionalism probably now that you guys are coming. So be sure to see us at Weenie Trades Live and join us in the energy and fun. We're breaking down stocks, we're trading, we're uh, recapping stuff, we're learning technical analysis, uh, we're taking trades, you know, you, the works. So you gave me guys gave me confidence to start a new chapter and um, I want to be able to help you guys all out. Might be able to quit the nine to five. Thanks to you guys. Uh, thanks for all the momentum. And the quote of the day was I came here for Wall Street bets and GameStop. 
but I stayed for Weenie. So be sure to comment your stocks for me to break down below. It's better now than asking me live while I'm busy day trading. So let, let me uh, break down your stocks now. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed all the other videos, if you enjoyed the live stream, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, send uh, your friends off to Weenie Trades, and let's get ready for another great trading day. Thanks for tuning in. See ya.